Hello everyone, I'm Aisha Diniega and in this video we are going to continue our journey through Greek mythology. So in this discussion we are going to talk about one of um, the many um, famous story in Greek mythology and it is entitled The Quest of the Golden Fleece. So um, this story can be found in um, the book of Edith Hamilton, which is mythology, and it can be uh, read in part two, chapter three. And the word um, quest, meaning um, it is a long and arduous search for something. So what are we going to search here? Um, it is obviously the golden fleece. So in this discussion, we are going to talk about the hero. <coughs> the challenges that our heroes have encountered in order to get the golden fleece. So, without further ado, let us start. So, let us start our discussion with having our map. So, let us know the places. Um, this is a map in Greek wherein our heroes have <clears throat> resided. So our first place, uh, the first place that we are going to tackle is the place Iolkos. So Iolkos, it is the place wherein the the story started. So next is the Lemnos and the Sizizos, the Seius Berberus, and so on and so forth, until the 15th place, which is the creek. So these are the places that they have... Um, <clears throat> um traveled during their journey in order to get the golden fleece so um to actually uh, to understand the story let us first have our early story so we have here the characters the first one is the king see, king atamas king atamas is the king of orchomenos or Beotheia. so in a place called Bethea or Achamenos, um, King Atamas is the king. And he has a brother named Crescius. So we will know who Crescius is later. And um, King Atamas, he got bored of his wife. So his wife is Nephili. So um, he got bored of Nephili. And um, King Atamas and Nephili, they have um, a daughter and a son which was named Frexus and Heli. So, itong si King Atamas, dahil nga um, nagsasawa siya sa kanyang asawa, so he decided to marry another woman, so which is the princess of Thebes. <clears throat> so, um, the... <clears throat> Um, the other woman of King Atamas, or the second wife, is Aino. So, she's the daughter of the King of the Beast. So, the second wife of King Atamas. So, I will tell you the the <coughs> character of Aino. Si Aino, medyo imaingkitin siya. It's because she is the second wife and she wants everything na... Um, she wants na mapasakan niya or yung mga anak niya is siya, sila yung successor ni King Atamas whenever he da, he died. So next slide, I know became jealous of Nephilim's children. She parts the seeds so no crops will grow. So here it's because um itong si um the, the first wife si Nephilim, it's because hindi na siya yung um Masyadong focus ni King Atamas, it's because, um, ano na siya, ayaw na sa kanya ni King Atamas. So, nag humiling itong Senefilis kay Aino na wag niyang saktan yung mga anak ni, ano, wag ipahamak yung mga anak ni Nephilim, which, which are si Frexus and Heli. But then, um, itong si Aino, sabi niya, okay, hindi ko ipapahamak yung mga anak mo, ganun. <clears throat> but then, um, I know has a jealousy inside her heart. Jealous pa rin siya sa mga anak ni 
Nefeli. It's because takot siya na baka yung mga anak ni Nefeli yung magiging successor sa kingdom ni King Atamas. So, itong si Aino, she made a plan. She, she, um, she think of a plan. So, may, may plan siyang naisip which is to um to get or to um to and um, kunin yung lahat ng said seed sa kanilang lugar yung mga buto kunin yung um sinabihan ni yung mga farmers na to get the seeds or <clears throat> to compile them so and then um tinuyo tinutuyo nila yung seeds so that there will be no crops to grow so yun yung plano or yun yung pinagawa ni Aino and then what what will happen is that there will be a famine and magugutom sila kasi kasi nga yung mga seeds hindi na siya tutubo so there will be no crops wala nang tutubong mga halaman na makakain nila so um so yun nga um I know bribe the messenger to sacrifice precious so itong si Aino nag ano siya nag <clears throat> Binayaran niya yung isang tagasabi ng oracle na magsasalita na dapat i-sacrifice itong si Frexus. <clears throat> Wherein, um, kahit hindi naman totoo. So, binayaran niya. Um, dapat daw i-sacrifice si Frexus in order for them to have crops again. Kasi nga, um, pinalabas ni, ni Aino na wala ng crops na tutubo. So, it, um, they need to sacrifice. So, so Frexus was um 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 Frexus should be sacrificed so I sacrificed him to Frexus. Itong itong si Nephili nagpray siya kay Hermes. Si Hermes siya yung messenger of gods. So she and the protector of human beings. So sabi nagpray siya na sana isave yung children niya. So by the time na um, i-sacrifice na si Frexus, the winged ram with a golden fleece saved Frexus and Heli. So, by the time na patayin na sana si Frexus para i-sacrifice, biglang dumating yung, ano, yung ram na gold. Gold ang color. Gold ang balahibo. <clears throat> and then, sinave niya si Frexus at si Heli. Si, si, sinakay niya sa kanyang likuran. So, they flew. Lumipad sila <clears throat> palayo sa lugar. And then, um, the, it, they are instructed na hindi, hindi dapat tumingin sa baba kasi baka daw mahilo. Mahilo sila and then baka mahulog. But then, itong si Heli, dahil na amazed siya sa nakita niya sa baba, nahulog siya. And Heli fell off in a strait and it was named Hellespont. So until now, it was named Hellespont. And it can be found in the map. The map natin, the world map, we can found this place, Hellespont. So dyan yung, um, yan, isa yung kipot and then dyan nahulog si, Hellis, si Heli. <clears throat> Frexus reached Colchis, killed and offered the realm to King Itis. So itong si Frexus, patuloy siyang nag silang naglalakbay sa kay sa um sa ram and narating niya yung lugar na tinatawag na Colchis. So marami siyang napagdaan ng lugar but then he didn't find it hard to travel it's because he just um nakailang siya sa ram. So um in order for him to have something to offer to the king it's because the king welcomed him in Colchis. Yung king sa, sa Colchis ay, um, ang pangalan ay si King Ayatis. So, in order for Frexus to have something to offer to King Ayatis, he killed the ram. So, yun. At inalay niya dun kay King Ayatis. <clears throat> and then, one time then, um, itong si King Ayatis, after that event, um, si King Ayatis, binigay niya yung anak ni King, uh, binigay ni King Ayatis yung anak niyang babae at pinapaasawa niya kay Frixus and they have um, sons. 
after a long time, there was uh, an oracle na dumating sa kanila na, sa, na nagsasabi kay King Atis na there is someone um, which is a stranger who will get or who will stool the um, ram. And when that happens, yung kingdom daw ni King Atis ay masisira and he will lose his power. So, with the thought na natakot si King Atis, it's akala niya na yung stranger na yun ay si Prexos. So, kanyang pinatay si Prexos. He killed Prexos kasi akala niya siya yung stranger na tinutukoy sa Orkto. Now, um, in another part of the story, so we have here, we have mentioned, I think you still remember that we have mentioned Crisius. So, si Crisius naman siya yung brother of Atamas, of King Atamas in Bayutea or Comenos. So, itong si King Crisius, siya yung um, hari sa lugar na tinatawag na Ayolcos. Ito yung place ng ating hero. So, he is, he was a husband of Tyro. <clears throat> so, si Crisius, hari din siya, di ba? Hari siya, Ayolcos, and har husband ni Tyro. So, may anak siya, may anak si Crisius, um, anak niya kay Tyro, si Eson. Es <clears throat> and then, si Eson, siya yung husband ni Alcimede, and a father of Jason. So, si Jason, ito yung magiging, um, hero or magiging bida natin mamaya. And another son of Tyro is Pelias. Itong si Pelias siya yung magiging kontra natin, kontra bida. And itong si um, Pelias, hindi talaga siya anak ni Crisius. Isa lang siyang adopted son. It is because si Pelias ay anak ni Poseidon. Itong si Poseidon, it's because napaka-womanizer nitong si Poseidon. Poseidon, um, nagustuhan niya si Tyro. And <clears throat> nagkaroon sila ng anak. So, P Pilayas asorbed the throne from Aeson. So, nung namatay si Crisius, inagaw ni Pilayas yung kingdom from Aeson. So, kasi it is um, understood naman na si Aeson yung magiging next king. It's because he is the legitimate son of um, Crisius. But then, itong si Pelias na Tridor, um, he usurped the, the throne from Aeson. So, what happened? <clears throat> um, we cannot deny na malakas si Pelias here. It's because siya ay anak ng isang god na si Poseidon. That is why natalo nila yung... Nung nilusob nila si, Pila, si Aeson sa kingdom... Kasi itong si Pelias, nilusog niya si Aeson sa kingdom. So, natalo nila. Natalo nila si Aeson. That's because malakas talaga sila. So, Aeson was imprisoned and Jason was secretly sent away to Mount Pelion. So, um, pinakulong niya yung kapatid niya na si Aeson. And then, si Jason secretly um, sent, nag-uto nag sila na, uh, may inutusan sila na ipalayo itong si Jason. And dina, dila, dinala nila sa Mount Pelion. So, yung asawa in another stories, yung asawa daw dito ni Aeson, na si Alcimede, ay inasawa din ni Pelias. And then, here, Jason live with Sintar Cherun. So, in Mount Pelion, doon na siya, <clears throat> doon na nakatira si Jason, and then, um, na Kasama niya si Sintar Charon. So, I think you have known or you know about Sintar Charon. So, Sintar Charon is a half human and a half horse. And we can find or we can see him or we can, um, we know him in another, um, in many stories, in many Greek stories. Nandun siya. Siya yung usually na taga-train ng mga, <clears throat> ng mga heroes. Sintao Chiron ang kumbaga trainer or kumbaga leader leader. Siya yung nag-guide on and he taught many ways on how ways of a her, hero. So we can um I think you have known or you have watched the movie um Percy Jackson. Nandun din si Sintao Chiron. 
siya yung happy man of God. Next, so itong si Jason, he was then skilled. Skilled na siya kasi tinuroan na siya ni St. Archeron <clears throat> ng maraming bagay. So Jason returns. So bumabalik na si Jason para agaw or kuhanin muli yung kingdom niya na para talaga sa kanya. Jason went to Iolcos to reclaim the throne and kingdom which rightfully his. He met Hera in disguising as an old woman. So, um, the story goes like this. Um, itong si Pelias, which is the kontrabida, um, ayaw niya kay Hera. That is why nagalit si Hera kay Pelias. So, with that, gusto maghiganti or gusto... Oo, nagalit, dahil nagalit nga si Hera kay Pelias, gusto ni Hera na parusahan itong si Pelias. So, with that, na... na um, naisip ni Hera na tulungan itong si Jason. It's because ito ang magiging kaaway ni Pilayas. So, yun nga, nagpakita itong si Hera to Jason. He, he this guy is an old woman. He lose, he lose his other pan, pair of sandals. So, naiwala habang um, tinulungan niya yung old woman, na, naiwala niya yung isa niyang sandal. <clears throat> And then, um, After that, pumunta na si Jason sa lugar or sa kingdom. Pilayas aware of a prophecy that he should be killed by a man wearing one sandal is startled to see Jason. So, um, there, during uh, that time mismo, merong, um, merong sinabi yung taga, <clears throat> taga, sabi ng oracle or prophecy na papatayin daw itong si, J, si Pilayas ng isang taong may suot na isang sandal. So, they are very scared. <clears throat> It's because nakita niya na si Jason yun, na tao na yun. So, um, without further ado, sinabi ni Jason kung ano yung um, motive niya kung bakit siya nagpunta doon. And that is to reclaim again the throne and kingdom. Um, Pilaya still Jason he will give him the throne if he brings back the golden fleece. So, um, nag, ayaw, ayaw ibigay ni, dahil ayaw ibigay ni Pilayas, he, sinabihan niya si Jason na ibabalik ko lang yung kingdom kung ibi, kung dalhin mo sa akin ng golden fleece. <clears throat> And everybody in the Greek, or oh, everybody in their place know that Um, ang pagkuha ng Golden Fleece is a really hard journey. It is really an arduous journey. And everyone who attempt to do it, um, hindi na sila nakabalik. It's because they did not succeed. So, but then, um, Jason accepts. Nagulat ang mga tao. Kasi inaksi pa rin ni Jason. So, our journey starts now. So, we have um, preparation for the journey. So, nag-prepare na sila for the journey. Jason six Argos, the greatest ship builder in Greece, to build a ship for his journey. So, tinawag niya yung matandang tin si Argos na tagagawa ng <coughs> ship sa lugar nila. Napakagaling na shipmaker. With Athena's help, they built the largest and largest ship. So, Here in different in the story in Greek mythologies, kasami kasali talaga yung uh, mga gods and goddesses. Unlike sa atin na uh, human lang purely. In their story, they the the gods and goddesses really contribute or nandun talaga. So itong si Athena, it's because di ba si Athena is the goddess of war. So um. Um, tinulungan niya si sila, sila Jason na gumawa ng largest ship. Jason called out the bravest and most talented people to join the journey. So, tinatawag niya yung mga pinakamalakas at pinakatalintadong tao na sasali sa kanila. Um, not all, hindi lahat ng sinabihan niya ay sumama and hindi lahat ay pinasama. Um, there are a lot of people uh, willing talaga sila like Orpheus. The ship was named Argo in honor of which builder Argos and the crew members were called Argonauts. So yung 
dahil nga yung pangalan ng ship builder ay si Argos. So, tinatawag na lang din sa ship ay Argo. And, and <clears throat> sila ay mga Argonauts. So, which is why in another stories, it the title is um, Jason and the Argonauts. Next. So, we have here the crew. So, um, first, si Jason and the qu <clears throat> the leader, leader of the quest, Argos, the shipwright, are few skilled in playing, playing excellent music with his lyre, the Argonauts wrote to his playing. So, I think you have known or you have heard the word Orpheus uh, in different um, poems or in different arts. It's because si Ar Orpheus, napaka-talented niya, um, especially in music. It's because lahat ng nakikinig sa music niya ay napapa, <coughs> na, na, nadadala niya. So, um, <clears throat> itong si Orpheus, uh, meron siyang, di ba, meron siyang asawa na si, Ars, si Eurydice. And dahil nawala na yung asawa niya, he felt na wala nang silbi yung buhay niya. So, he decided to join the journey. Next, another hero is Hercules or Heracles. So, Hercules in Roman and then Heracles in Greek um, term. He was known for his strength and agility. He is a very strong. I think you have watched his movie, The, the Heracles. So, napakaraming niyang heroic deeds in Greek mythology. Napakaraming story siya na kasali. And then, we have here Hylas, Hercules' companion. So, itong si Hylas, laging kasama to ni Hercules. Saan man siyang nagpunta. Si Lenchus, superhuman eyesight, and his brother Idas. So, these um, people, ito lahat, ay kasali doon sa journey nila. Marami pa dyan and we will lose, lose maubusan tayo ng time if we are going to discuss one by one. So these are the major crews lang ang ating <coughs> discuss muna. Next, okay, before we proceed to the actual journey, we have first a question. What do you think is the reason why Orpheus choose to join the quiz? So what do you think? Um, the probably um, the reason why Orpheus joined the quiz it's because um, first, masyado siyang nalungkot pa sa pagkawala ng kanyang asawa. So, um, he felt na wala nang silbi yung buhay niya and he thought na probably meron siyang maitulong, baka meron siyang maitulong doon in their journey. And second is that he received uh, an oracle which is um, the which state that the journey will fail if hindi sasama si Orpheus. So, he decided to join the quiz. Okay, we have to start our adventure now. Adventures on the way. During the adventure, they met a lot of challenges. So, napakarami talaga. Napakarami. Mapapagod kayo sa kakaisip na napakarami. So, First, Zeus blew smoke so they could not see the sea. Why? Why kaya? It is because, diba asawa ni Zeus si Hera. So si Hera, kasi nga tinulungan ni Hera si Jason last time, itong si Zeus, napapansin niya, baka nagsiselo si Zeus. Oh, nagsiselo siya kay Hera. So, what he did is naingit siya kay Jason, nagagalit siya kay Jason, so si he blew smoke para hindi nila makita yung si. Pinaglaruan nila kumbaga si <coughs> sila Jason. So, hindi na nga nila nakita yung si. Naligaw sila. And then, after that, nung nakarating siya sa lugar na medyo open na, um, <coughs> they found an island. So, bumaba yung isa nilang member and yung, kumbaga, meron silang tungkod and then tinuk um tinusok niya sa lupa and then they are startled when they 
they realize na gumagalaw yung lupa. So, mali pala yung pag akala nila na isang island yun. It is because that was the sea god Poseidon, tumayo. Napakalaki ni Poseidon that in every time na mag-move siya, there is a tsunami, nag-cause ng tsunami. So, they met the sea god Poseidon and there they met a lot of tsunamis, tornadoes, <clears throat> and they also lost their map. Nawala nila yung map nila It's because um, kumalugkalug na yung kanilang ship. Um, meron silang kasama na si Lynchus helped making it again by looking at the stars. Itong si Lynchus, meron siyang kakayahang tumingin. Human, superhuman eyesight. Malakas yung paningin siya. So while, while they are just looking at the stars, they are able to um, know again the path or the correct um places in the map. So, nakagawa ulit sila ng mapa and they proceed to their next journey. Okay. So, their first journey is so first na lugar na napunta nila is the Lemnos. So, itong Lemnos, it is habituated only by women. So, itong Lemnos, isang lugar na kung saan babae lang lahat ang nakatira. Women in this place were not thankful to Aphrodite. So, <clears throat> itong mga babaeng to, ayaw nila kay Aphrodite, which is the goddess of um, beauty, ayaw nila. And they are worshipping another god or goddesses na kalaban ni Aphrodite. So, pinarusa ni Aphrodite itong mga babaeng ito and she made them smell so bad that their husbands leave them and the woman then killed all men so dahil nga parang natatouch yung pride nila um, pinatay nila bawat lalaking makikita nila in their place bawat lalaking sa kanilang place <clears throat> and they repopulate lemnos but then these um the argonauts are welcomed by this woman it's because they have an, another um, plan. Hindi nila dirit-dirit yung papatayin. Kasi nga daw, i-alay daw nila itong mga lalaking to. So, <clears throat> um, um, they, ano, nag, nagsiyahan sila with the boys, with the Argonauts, and with the <clears throat> women in Lemnos. So it in another in other articles it is stated na nakipag ano itong si Jason here and they got nang he fathered another um two sons na meron daw siyang dalawang anak dit, dito ni Queen Hef Cephele so si Queen Hef Cephele siya yung leader dito ng mga women in Lemnos but then there is only uh, one man who is not participating in the efforts or the repopulation efforts here. Ito ay si Heracles. It's because si Heracles ay nagstay lang doon sa ships nila for their safety. And then, hindi sila nagtagal doon. <clears throat> so, next nilang puntahan, umalis na sila. Next nilang napuntahan is the land of Doliones. So, itong land na to, it is very hard to <clears throat> nang napunta nila dito. They were welcomed by King Sai Zikos of the Leonis. While gathering supplies, they were attacked by Gijinis. So, um, itong si King Sai Zikos ay mabait naman siya. When welcome niya itong mga Argonauts. So, um, and nang hingi itong mga Argonauts ng mga supplies, food, water, para sa kanilang journey. But then, they did not know na meron palang mga Gijinis or Jikinis. Itong mga, <clears throat> ito ay mga monster na may an anim na arm, six arm. So, <clears throat> ito yung main problem ng Land of the Leones, yung mga monster. But then, Heracles slays the monster with his bow and club. In another, in other articles, they said that Heracles um, killed, killed them single-handed lang. Kaya naubos yung mga doliones doon. 
after that they sail away but are blown black at night by a storm so nung paalis na sila umalis na sila but then there is a storm at um madilim so they are not able to see anything and the, the Dulyunes, thinking that they are invaded by pirates, attack the Argonauts and Zikos is dead. So, akala naman ng mga Dulyunes, habang lumala, umalis na sila, akala ng mga Dulyunes ay um, kalaban sila. So, inataki nila yun. And then the Argonauts also think na kalaban yun. So, they, they fight each other. So, nag sila. And namatay yung hari nila si Zikos. It is a uh, tragic um, one, it's because they are friends, actually, and they end up killing each other. The third place, or the th uh, what <clears throat> the third one that happened is that um, Hercules, the story of Hercules and Hylas. So, um, in this part, they came to the cause of Mycenae. So, they came in a place called Mycenae. So, dahil nga, si Hercules broke his air or and decided to make a new one so dahil nasira niya yung ano niya pang row gagawa siya ng bago munta siya dun sa forest and sumama itong si and kasama niya na lagi si Hylas and Hylas decided to go get some water but then he was abducted by water nymphs dahil nga nagustuhan siya ng mga water nymphs Kinuha siya. So, Heracles leaves the quest to search for Hylas and does not rejoin it. So, si Heracles, sobrang nalungkot siya dahil nawala si Hylas, hinahanap niya, and hinayaan na nalang umalis or naiwan siya ng ship nila. Next, fight with Amicus. Next, the Argonauts come to the island kingdom of King Amicus, the son of Poseidon. So, Poseidon has many sons and daughters. So, <clears throat> itong si, si Amicus, masyado siyang, masyado siyang matas yung pride niya. And everyone who, um, yung pumunta sa lugar nila, ay gusto niyang kalabanin. Dapat daw kalabanin muna siya. And he is a very skilled um, boxer. Lahat ng napunta doon ay kinakalaban niya. And usually, they died. And then, nung dumating sila, Argonauts, they asked for food and water and supplies dahil ubus na yung mga supplies nila. But then, itong sabi ni, sabi ni Amakos, <clears throat> I will give you, um, basta makipag-away muna kayo or makipag-boxing muna kayo sa akin. So, um, there is um, another um, a crew member or there is one Argonauts which was named Polydusis. He killed Amicus. So, siya yung malakas na boxer. Siya yung pinaglaban. And yan yung ending ni Amicus. Argonauts are driven from the island. It's because napatay na nila yung leader ni <coughs> nila na si Amicus. So, pinalaya sila or hinabol. And they run. Malis na sila sa island. After that, they they arrive in the place Salmidisos. So this place they met Peneus, Peneus and Harpies. They met the blind prophet Peneus, who is plagued by Harpies, a half woman and half birds. And they are the punishment from Zeus. So I think si Peneus, ano siya? Isa siyang oracle teller or prophet na lahat ng mga plano ng Diyos ay alam niya or lahat ng plano ng gods and goddesses na lalaman niya. So, itong si Zeus kasi nga nagalit, nagalit siya kasi alam lahat ni Phineas um, <coughs> pinapanish panish na ni Zeus si Phineas. Nilagyan niya ng mga harpies which are the half woman and half birds. And then Hindi makakain si, si Phineas, it's because aagawin ito ng mga harpies. So, he is so weak and old na. So, <clears throat> Zetis and Calais, the son of North Wind Boreas, drove away the harpies. So, itong si Zetis as Calais, they have the ability to, to <clears throat> fly. So, kaya 
um, they drove away the harpies. Tinakot nila yung harpies, pinalis nila. And they also decided to kill the harpies talaga. But then, sabi ni Iris, hindi na daw, um, wag daw. She plead na wag na daw patayin because they will promise that they will not disturb Phineas anymore. So in exchange for their help, Phineas tells the Argonauts how to pass the simple gates. So we will know what simple gates is later. So itong si Phineas, binigyan niyo ng mga tips ang, ang mga Argonauts on how they are going to pass the simple gates. Next. Okay, so here we are going. <clears throat> Nandito na tayo sa Simply Gates, which are the clashing rocks. So the, these are two rocks that sh crush ships. So ma dalawang malaking rocks, which which kapag pumunta ka dun, e crush kanila. So kapag na, may mga ships na pumunta, they will crush it. So yung yung um um, yung tips na tinuro ni Pinay sa kanila ay they must send a dove in the middle of the of those rocks. So if <clears throat> the dove pass through, um, they can they can also pass through. So after that, the simply gates remained fixed thereafter. So um, hindi na siya na buwag pa. After that, they are able to actually. Um, pass through, naka lagpas na talaga sila. <clears throat> and and there are other um, st versions which states that tinulungan daw sila ni Poseidon this time to um, help open the, those rocks. Next. So there is also a question before we are going to proceed to the next place. So why did Fractious didn't, didn't find it hard to cross the Simply Gates? So what do you think is the reason why? So the reason why Fractious, if you can still remember, it was si Fractious, ang anak ni King Atamas, which was um, saved by the ram. So he didn't actually find it hard to cross the Simply Gates because logically, um, hindi naman siya dumaan by sea. Um, he he crossed or he <clears throat> na, na nalagpasan niya yun it's because nakalipad lang naman sila and they are not in the sea they're not traveling by sea so that's the simple answer for this question oh there are some side notes Tiffis and the helmsman and Edmund the seer die so Edmund had seen that he would die on the voyage <clears throat> so these are the other Argonauts or the other members of the Argonauts. So they also avoided the Amazons of the Mesera. So naiwasa nila dito ang mga Amazons. Next is the Stemphalian birds. So itong mga Stemphalian birds na tayo. After that simply gates, nakarating sila sa island of Aris. It is an abandoned place. They were suddenly attacked by the Stemphalian birds, which had lethal bronze deep fingers. So, bigla-bigla silang inatake nito mga Stemphalian birds. So, what are Stemphalian birds? Yung mga um, feathers nila ay bronze, napaka-tibay. And kahit ma maliit na touch lang ay ma ano na, matir na yung skin mo if you are um, attacked by these birds. So, Obviously, marami silang sugat during that time. So, itong Stempalian birds, they are, you are you cannot um, fight with them because they are the birds that were created by gods. They are favorite birds of God. So, they are driven away by making loud noises. It's because naalala ng other Argonauts, ng isang Argonauts, on how um, Heracles drove away those birds Kasi na-encounter daw, din daw yun ni Hercules <coughs> during his fight with other, in another stories. So, um, yung way lang daw nun is they will make loud voices. So, they 
kumawa sila ng bang 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 like that para mapalis nila yung birds so that the birds are afraid kaya umalis they met Frexus sons who told them about Colchis so after that they met <coughs> nakita na, na ano nila na met nila si Frex anak ni Frexus na nagtuturo sa kanila more about Colchis so it is actually Colchis na ang pupuntahan nila si Picos nandun di ba ang golden trees so number eight we they finally reached the cold kiss so king aetis greets the argonauts and introduces jason to his daughter midday so buhay pa talaga si king aetis during this time and he welcomed the argonauts so he introduces the daughter to his daughter, Medea. So, ito namang, it's because the gods are really um, involved here. Itong si Hera, sinabihan niya itong si <clears throat> Eros, sinabihan niya itong si, diba si Aphrodite, sinabihan niya si Aphrodite na ipapana itong uh, nasabihan sa anak niyang si Eros or si Cupid na panain itong si Medea. Nang sa ganun ay um, Medea will fall in love with Jason. And that will be an advantage because Medea has a lot of skills and Medea can help to Jason's journey. So every the gods and the goddesses will do everything in order for Jason to succeed in this journey, actually. So, so yun na nga, pinana agad ni Eros or ni Cupid si Medea, which the reason why he up in the first met palang niya or sa unang kita palang niya kay Jackson, she finally fall in love. She, she magically fall in love. So Medea that is actually a priestess of Hikati. So Hikati is the goddess of witchcraft. So in the temple of Hikati, si Medea ang caretaker, which is why she learned a lot of witchcraft. Kasi nga idol niya itong si Hikati. Now, Jason reveals to Itis his quest. So, sinabi ni Jason yung um, motive niya kung bakit siya pumunta dun sa <coughs> Colchis. Itis tells Jason he may claim the fleece if he passes these challenges. So, these are the challenges that Jason must pass. First, he must use fire-breathing oxen and plow a field. And then second... He must plant dragon teeth in the ground. He must defeat defeat the soldiers which sprang from the ground. <clears throat> and then lastly, def defeat the serpent that guards the golden fleece. Talunin niya yung um, guardian dun sa golden fleece. And that was really not uh, an easy task. Napakahirap. Ang first nang gagawin is... Um, to get, in order to get the golden fleece, the first thing he must do is to, <coughs> to, to what? Yoke the fire, the fire breathing oxen and plow a field. So he must yoke those fire breathing oxen para mag plow sa field. But then, how can a normal person um, touch the fire breathing bulls na napaka, napaka init nun? Masunog ka talaga, obviously. But then, it is because it is really because Medea falls in love with Jason. So, we decided to help him. So, <clears throat> tinutulungan talaga ng Medea si Jason. Jason, with the protection of an ointment provided by Medea, yokes the fire breathing bulls and plows the field. So, binigyan siya ng ointment ni Medea. It's because Medea really has a lot <clears throat> or learned a lot in witchcraft. So, um, so yun, nilagyan niya ng protection ng body niya. And he was actually able to plow the field without getting burned. So after that, the second task that he must do is <clears throat> to spread, to plant the teeth or the dragon teeth or the spartoi. The teeth originated from the Colchian dragon. 
they would turn into men called Spartoi, one son. So, itong mga Spartoi, they are the son, son men. So, dapat niya daw, yung mga seeds na yun, dapat niyang i-plant sa field. <clears throat> and then, after that, a minute, a minute or a second, tutubo agad yung mga, <clears throat> mga seeds na yun, and they turn into soldiers, like this, in the pic- picture. So, magiging soldiers siya, and then kalabanin <clears throat> nila si, <clears throat> si Jason. But then, with Medea's help, he really was then able to <clears throat> succeed here. So, Jason threw a stone given by Medea in their midst. So, sabi ni Medea, o, oh, itapon mo itong batong ito sa gitna. Sa gitna ng mga sparto, eh. Gitna mismo. <clears throat> so, yun, tinapon niya sa gitna. And then, they fought among themselves. Nag-away sila sa kanilang sarila. And they all died. And, uh, no, mission, mission accomplished ni Jason, yung second task. And now, lastly, the third task is to <clears throat> to fight or to um, get over the gold Kolshan dragon. So, um, there is a guard here in order in the golden fleece. So, itong golden fleece nilagay nila sa isang puno dun sa mountain nila and they allow the Kolshan dragon to guide, to guard it. Kaya, hindi talaga possible or napakahirap talaga na makatch or makuha nila yung golden fleece na yun. <clears throat> so, with the help pa rin ni Medea, they are able to do it. So, let's first know what is or what the dragon, the gold Kolshan dragon. So, this, um, <clears throat> this serpent is a child of Typhoon and Echidna. So, itong si Typhoon, siya yung gods of the gods of storm. <clears throat> siya yung monster with many dragon heads. And the youngest son of Gaia, yung mother of the earth or yung gods of the earth of the universe. And then si, si Echidna, yung mother ni ng Colchian Dragon, she is also a serpent. She is the monster with half human, half serpent. And she is the mother of all monsters, which is why itong anak nila na Colchian Dragon napakalakas nito. And this dragon is never sleeping, even if it's day or night. It always guards the golden piece. So Jason defeated the Colchian Dragon <clears throat> dragon with the help of Medea and Orpheus. But how? Um, what they did is that um, itong si Medea, she sang a song and then it makes the Colchian dragon feel sleepy and then pinagpatuloy yun <clears throat> ni Orpheus. Orpheus continued it by his lyre. Next, what happened next? So, successfully nakuha na ni Jason yung um, freeze na yun. It's because natulog yung, napatulog nila yung dragon. So, there's a question before we're going to continue. In going home, will the Argonauts still return to the past that they have crossed? So, what do you think? Will the Argonauts still continue Actually, the answer is no, they are not going to continue to use the path or the map that they have crossed or It is because as we can remember, remember, yung simply gates put doon, ay, it remained fixed there after, after nang makalagpas yung ship nila, it remained fixed, hindi na po siya nabuwag pa. So they are not able to cross it again. So they have to find another place kung saan sila makaka-uwi pabalik sa Isle Coast. Next, on the way home, pa-uwi na tayo. After we are able to get the golden place, we must go home. But then, the, the way of going home is really not easy pa rin. 
<clears throat> Jason stole the fleece and then rushed back to the Greek camp, jumped into the ship, and sailed toward Greece, taking Medea's younger brother, Absertos, with them. So, <clears throat> um, so yun nga, kinuha na niya yung golden fleece, and then the, <clears throat> they ran to their camp, they ride, um, sumakay na sila sa kanilang ship, and pauwi na. And, Itong si Medea, Medea is really a bright woman and he learned a lot about strategies. So, um, we don't know or they don't know that um, Medea really intended to bring his brother <clears throat> with them. Um, then, na- nalaman ni Aitis that he was strict na ano siya, na isahan. And they sailed after them. So, hinabol nila sila, Medea, and Jason. <coughs> after that? Okay, dito na tayo sa killing of the up. King of up, Aspertus. So, <coughs> now this king, Aetis, is pursuing the Argo. Medea chops up her brother up, Sirtus. So dahil alam ni Medea na hinabol sila, itong si Medea, um, pinatay niya yung brother na si Absertus. It is because for them to, for, for, for King Aetis to be distracted, na hindi na sila habulin. So si Medea pinatay niya at chinap-chop pa talaga niya yung brother na si Absertus. So that the king will collect the pieces in order for <clears throat> uh, in or, <clears throat> and then the the argo will be able to escape so the colchians must stop to gather the pieces and the argo escape so dahil nga kailangan ni king itis na bigyan ng proper bur- burial yung anak niya so hinayaan niya na lang na makaalis yung mga argo so with that the argo really escape next they 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 reach to the place of Circe. So I think you have heard the word Circe in many other stories in Greek mythology. This because Circe is <clears throat> a famous um witch. So we can hear or we can find Circe's name or we can read Circe's name in um Odysseus in the story of Odysseus. Itong Circe, she fell in love with Odysseus and she has the ability to turn men into pigs. So, yun ginawa niyang pigs. So, here, Cersei is Medea's witch and so, um, Thea niya or ano niya, <clears throat> aunt niya si Cersei and Aetis' sister who live on the island Aia. So, do nakatira si Cersei. So, they, <clears throat> pumunta sila si Cersei, it's because they want to ask or <clears throat> For a prayer in order for them to be purified with the murder of As- Absurdus. It's because um, the gods might or is really angry <clears throat> of the deeds that they, of the killing that they do. So the, um, Cersei gave them the purification and they are advised to leave immediately. So malis na sila agad. And then after that, after meeting Cersei, they they met the Sirens. Sirens. So na napunta sila sa lugar ng mga Sirens. So the <clears throat> the Sirens were beautiful women which seduce um sailors with their irresistible songs. So itong mga Sirens ay mga maharot na babae. Um they they will sing and sing and sing so that the the ship um <clears throat> or the fishermen were will be um res- <clears throat> or will be distracted in their journey and then mapatay nila or they will they will be drowned in the sea <clears throat> and then it's because they are really irresistible um all orpheus decided to play a song and it rivaled the song of the sirens and allowed Argus to pass under. So, natalo ni Orpheus yung um, 
yung pagkanta ng mga sirens na talo pa rin niya. And with that, um na save ulit sila and they will they are able to pass unharmed. Nerd. Next, the marriage. The Argo also passed by Skyla. So it is a six-headed monster and charred this a real pool. So in after they um na after na nakalayo na sila sa mga sightings, they met the Skyla too. Oh, they are about to meet the Skyla and the Charlie this too. So I think you you have heard the word um or the saying between Skyla and Charlie this. So this means that you are both or you are in both unpleasant situation. So Skyla is <clears throat> so um what actually these um creatures are is that um when a fisherman is in the near the rocks or near the island the skyla will attack them and then when they go to the middle of the ocean they will also be attacked by the the real pool so life is impossible here it's because they <clears throat> wala silang ibang choice or wala silang ibang mapapatunguhan but then with the help of thesis uh at the uh see them natulungan sila and they reached the Dripani and got married. So, nating nila yung lugar na Dripani and doon sila nagpakasal. Fifteenth event is that they met Talus, the bronze giant. So, Talus, a, a great, ito yung mahirap nilang kalaban in their journey. It's because Talus will not be harmed. Hindi siya harmed. It's because he's a giant. And he has bronze body. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> Medea said that the only way to defeat Talus was to remove the plug in his heel. So, just like, ano, just like Achilles, which has a, which has a weakness. So, yan din ang weakness ni Talus. <clears throat> they have to remove a plug in his heel. So, um, si Medea, which is good in witchcraft, she threw a stone and then it it hit to the hill of Talus. And then he died. Next, finally in Ayulcos. Finally, nakarating na sila sa Ayulcos. Nakauwi na sila. So Jason returns to Ayulcos and shows Pilaya the treasure. So he is very proud to show it to that to Pilaya. So, sabi niya, andito na yung, ano, andito na yung golden fleece. Um, um, ano, ano na, eh, ano na natin yung usapan natin. But then, when it is clear that Pilaya will not return the kingdom of Jason, so, it is really impossible for Pilaya to return it to Jason. So, nag-isip na naman ang plan itong si Medea. Medea talaga napaka-helpful or supported, supportive kay Jason. So, an another plan na naman siya. What is his, her plan? Um, Medea convinces Pelias' daughters to make him young. So, <coughs> sabi ni Medea, I can make your father look like young. Magiging bata ulit. So that, <coughs> sabi ni um, and nagpakita itong, for, nag, nagpakita ng sample itong si Medea. So, nagpakita siya ng isang ram na matanda. And then, nilagay niya dun sa bowl na yun. And then, she put magic. And then, it turned into small or young. So, the, the daughters believe. And they chopped up Philias. But, they found out that Medea was vanished. So, um, Pinatay nila yung tatay nila at sinap up nila kasi it, they believe that it what Medea said was actually true but then naisaan lang pala sila which is why namatay talaga si Pilias. And then they found out wala na si Medea, naisahan sila. So Jason become became the new king of Ayolcos. So siya yung nagiging king talaga. And then after the Jason and Medea were driven from Ilgos for this horrible act 
and they eventually go to Corinth. So dahil ayaw ng mga tao sa kanila, kasi nga itong si Medea, she has a lot of issues like sa witchcraft. So, at saka yung pagkatay nila kay Belias, ayaw ng mga tao yun. Uh, ayaw ng mga tao sa kanya. So, pinalaya sila. And they are forced to go to Corinth. So, they have two children, but Jason la later receives an offer to marry Glossy, a daughter of King Crayon. So, si King Crayon, siya yung king ng Corinth. And he was, um, sinabihan siya na ipakasal sa kanyang asawa, or um, Glossy was being offered to him. So, Jason decided to marry Glossy and put Medea into exile. So, init siya puwera na niya si Medea. And Kaya nagalit, nagalit si Medea this time. So Medea responded and vengeful plots a dreadful act. So nag-isip na naman si Medea ng dreadful na <clears throat> plano in order na makapaghiganti siya. It's because um, with all the sacrifices that she did for Jason, nagawa pa rin ni Jason na um, sayangin yun by marrying another woman. So yun. So, Medea's revenge. So, Medea sends Glossy a golden dress which she poisons. So, um, sabi ni Medea, I have a gift for you, for your wedding. And then, as she wore it, he, she, <clears throat> there is a poison in that dress. And then, Glossy died, namatay yung girl. <clears throat> Medea also kills two sons she had with Jason. So, in order for, see, she... She think na masasaktan si Jason by doing that. So, pinatay niya yung anak niya ng dalawa. In order for Jason to really feel the, the pain. So, distraught Jason watches as Medea flees their home in chariot pulled by two dragons. So, umalis si Medea with two dragons. In Corinth, Jason dies alone without family or friends when a piece of rotting argo falls on him. So, that was the end of Jason and Medea continued her her life and married another man. So, um, that was the so how exactly does it end? So in Corinth, Jason dies alone without family or friends when a piece of rotting argo falls on him. So, one day, as an old man, Jason was sitting lost in reverie next to a dilapidated hall of his beloved argo. The ship had once seen Pablo's journeys now creak and groan ominously as if bemoaning its existence. Jason, his glorious and tragic figure, had been so tired of living that he asked Zeus to, to show mercy on him. A lashing snap and a beam fell on Jason, ending his life and making him a legend. So, <clears throat> so dahil nga, um, haba da, habang daw nakahiga siya or nakaupo siya sa <clears throat> nalalanta na, na parts ng, ar, ng kanilang Argo, he, remen, he remembered the memories that he, he had with the Argo. Yung napaka-challenge, yung challenge na <clears throat> kanilang naranasan during their journey. And then <clears throat> he felt tired na, na tired na siya sa pam, sa <clears throat> he is tired of living so he asked Zeus sabi niya um tapusin mo na yung buhay ko so with that pinagbigyan siya ni Zeus and a lasting snap and beam fell on Jason so nahulog yung kapiraso ng um Argo to Jason and that end his life and he and from that moment he became a legend so do you have any questions and if you have an, uh, any questions you can send me a quick message on my messenger account before I end this um, discussion. I'm. <clears throat> I would like to share to you a famous quote, quotes of Hercules, which states, "Giving up is for rookies." 
So this means that um whenever or ano man kahirap yung buhay natin or ano man kabigat yung problema, giving up is not really a solution. We cannot solve our problems by just giving up. So we should still continue kasi <clears throat> um one time na nasabi ko ni Hercules it's because um he has a, he had a lot of journey during his time and then yet he still managed to um, stand on his feet kahit sobrang hirap na siya it's because he believed that giving up is for the rookies and we are no rookies we are strong And lastly, these are the references. You can search it. You can check it out if you want to know more about the story <clears throat> or you want to understand more. Thank you so much for um, listening. I hope you learned something in this uh, long journey. <clears throat>